Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Arcanum, Seamwork and Magic Obscura. The last time we have, uh, sadly, uh, well, we discovered uh, lots of uh, wrongdoings in the church, but we also discovered that Virgil had some dark, tragic backstory that he needed to take care of, and that's why he left the party. So, we have replaced him currently with Zanna Lorun, but we have been thinking of rebuilding the party a little bit uh, already from a few episodes ago. And after discussion with my viewers, um, Gar, yeah, you have been fun, you have been a great fighter and everything, but um, I think um, your time yes, sir. with us is what done. What would you have me do? Because he doesn't really have what can I answer for it? else to say, yes, honestly. Sir. So I cleared him of the most valuable, he can keep his armor, sword and such. So um, let us say goodbye to Gar. Yes, sir. What would you have me do? What would so you ask of me, sir? Uh, so, Handy says if we tell him to wait a while. I'll be waiting here for you to return, sir. Yeah, but we'll actually yes, say... What would you have me do? Uh, you can stop waiting, Alcohol. I do not like traveling with so many people. Ah, okay. Was there any... Okay, we need to up our uh, charisma a little bit, else uh, we cannot tell him that he is free, because that's what we want to do. So, we are going to... Takes a mind marvel. Does that up it to five already? Yes, it does. Okay. So that should be enough to get Gar on site. Yes, sir. What would you have me do? Yeah, you can stop waiting. I'm now. ready to follow you, sir. Uh, you don't need to follow me. You're a free man. You can do whatever the hell you want. Goodbye, sir. I thank you for returning my freedom to me. Yeah. And then he goes, and we get a fate point for that. So that is nice. Now, we are here in Kintara, because I figure we should uh, maybe see if we can add Raven to the party. But that might be a problem if we want to keep with Zan Aluren, because they won't let her into the city even. So, the, my working together with one might be an issue. We will see. So then what the... is it you need? Hello, Zan. I'd like to speak to you something for What me. did you want me to do? You need to wait here a little while. I will wait here. Hopefully, I will be here when you return. You better be. I gave you Lord Valuable stuff on it. Greetings, Aldana. Welcome to the Elven City of Kintara. You're welcome, Ogre. All are welcome here, even you. Just watch yourself and the in the free city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's go and speak with Raven. She should be uh, quite uh, willing to join the party now, but uh, as I said, this might cause conflict with Zan Alorani. So, uh, well, we'll probably stick with Zan, honestly. Or maybe Raven. We'll, we'll have to see. If... Raven is actually better for the party, uh, like, skill-wise, so... Hello again. It's so very good to see you. Hello, Raven. Are you got a moment? Certainly. How can I help you? Would you like to come with me and have all, like, fancy adventures and stuff? I was hoping you might offer. I do have many responsibilities here in Kantara, but I think my place is with you. This matter affects all of Arcanum and the Elves more directly. Yes, I will go with you and do what needs to be done if you will have me. Okay, I will. So almost to have you and all that. And it will be my honor to be associated with someone of such obvious courage and integrity. Shall we? Oh, that's nice. She's nice. So, Raven, she's level 32. Let's actually How see may I help about you? what uh, she yes. is stats -wise. What would you like me to do? Uh, How may I help? Then I will do my best to answer. You don't have anything to say about Kintara? I guess you said it all already. Yeah, so she's very good at shooting a bow. She is like a machine gunner with those bows. We don't really have a bow shooting person yet, so that might be intriguing to have in the party. Uh, otherwise, she is... Let's see... Her stats are okay-ish. Uh, magic... She obviously doesn't have technology, as you could probably see. Ah, she has a lot of... Uh, she knows about water. It's interesting. Purity of water. That does... Raises beauty of a creature. Okay. Ah, so that's how she stays so hot. It's all the magic. Magically enhanced. Naughty. And she has healing magic. She is a pretty decent healer. So she kind of can take... Uh, um, 
What's her name? Uh, she can take uh, Virgil's place, at least for a while. We will see Virgil back. Virgil will return in the Avengers, uh, in the Ogre Avengers 2. We uh, steal more rings. The stealer of the rings. But let's see if Zan wants to still join us now. What is it you need? You can stop waiting now. I go nowhere with the Dark Elf Woman. If she's with you, then I am not. It's as simple as that. Raven, she's not like the others, don't you trust me? I'm sorry, but you have no idea what their kind is capable of. Think about it. Everything that has transpired has been brought about by the evil of the Dark Elves. Yeah, it's all had nothing to do with it, and she's been pretty nice. She is a Dark Elf, and that is all that is important. Has she not lived with them, been taught by them? You cannot trust her. She will turn on you. She serves only her own ends. Look into her eyes and tell me it is not true. I mean, that sounds pretty racist if you weren't basically the same race. She is right, as misguided and foolish as she may be. I have already told you that in the end, I must seek my own answers. It seems you must choose between us. Uh, yeah, okay, so we have to choose. As I said, I think Raven is a much better party companion, so I think I will pick Raven here. You know, I'll choose Raven. Good boss on. What is it you need? Ah, okay, so you can tell her to. Uh, we can still pick her up, it's just as so long as uh, she's in the group, uh, we cannot. Okay then. Um, right, then we will maybe need to find another party member to join. I do have an idea for that, and we will, I think we find uh, that party number in Turan, so let us see if we can, uh, let us fast travel there and see if we can find them. So we have returned to Turan and uh, given uh, like Raven some nice new equipment and such, better bow and everything, but... How uh, may I help you? If we look then at I will do my stats, best. Even leveled up. We find that, uh, well... Um, her strength is rather abysmally low for any sort of fighting. Now, she is a bow expert, so she doesn't need that much, but still, uh, it could be better. Physical. And on the flip side, she has like a fair number of uh, mental stats that she doesn't really use except for the healing spell casting. Now, I am thinking, maybe uh, before we go and get Virgil back, because I think that's the plan, Maybe we should do some experiments on our, uh, on our beloved party. <laughs> because yes, we have here Brain Builder, but more importantly, we have Muscle Maker. And that's very easy to make. And yes, that's a permanent change of uh, physical, for mental stats to physical stats. Uh, but we don't need to apply that on ourselves now, do we? We have... Uh, uh, like test subjects for this. And we only need a little bit of um, charges, which is very easy to get. So let us just get some, uh, just a couple of charges. Actually, don't need much more. Like, we'll just make free charges or something. Otherwise, it's interesting to buy here while we're looking at it. So let us uh, do our experiments. So we make some muscle maker. Ah, we are actually out of uh, versions of physical prowess. We might need to work on that. Bring the pain to be honored. Should maybe read about that. But first, the experiment. So yes, Raven. Uh, I really would like to have you have, have a little bit of better strength. So. Let us inject you with this and you'll feel much better. You'll see. There you go. How may I help you? So now then I will do my stats. best. She has 11 strength and has uh, all our physical stats reduced, but that's fine. She uh, she really only needs kind of further uh, willpower, I believe, because she already has the spells she needs at this point. And yeah, now she should be able to use her bow actually effectively. How may I help you? Because she had ran into issues where she needed 11 strength for that and she didn't have 11 strength. Honestly, if I'm going to armor her up with the nice little plate mail we still have of uh, Virgil, we might need to even do a little bit more with that. Same problem we're actually running in 
uh, with uh, our little Magnus here. Like Magnus. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, can I see, see your little What do you need here? to know? Yeah, so Magnus still has some points in intelligence and stuff. And honestly, he really doesn't need it because his skill is in a little bit of smithing and we are already way better in smithing than he is. So he doesn't really need that intelligence. Willpower, I mean, his stamina is nice enough, I guess. He definitely doesn't need charisma or, or perception, honestly. So I think, yes, we can make him much better. With just a little bit of a jab of our new experimental thing. Here you go, Mac. Let's draw that out. How can I help you? And now you see his um, fatigue has gone down a little bit, but his health has gone up. What do you need to know? Huh. That is curious. Oh yeah, no, it has improved. It has improved. It has now 19... Uh, 19 dexterity. That is good. Because he needs that for the fighting. I am tempted to maybe even give him another shot. Put it at uh, 20 uh, dexterity. And he's becoming prettier of the shot, so... So Raven, soon you won't need your magic anymore to look pretty. Or got like pretty juice in a bottle. It electrifies you a little bit, but it'll make you better. You'll see. <laughs> yeah, I'm a mad scientist, I am. Brilliant scientist. So that we might be doing more of in the near future. Now we should make some uh, some uh, more juice, but first let us go and maybe go find uh, Virgil. Virgil will be in Caladon actually, so let us go there. Let's see what we can do for him. This dark secret past. Actually, first let's uh, have a chat with Raven. How may I help you? Hello, Raven. We've got questions. Then I will do my best to answer. What do you know, Turan, then? Isn't this Turan? Yeah. Renford used to tell me about it and asked me to come and visit him here. Okay, that's nice. She has more than a fun dialogue if you're actually... Um, you can romance her, but not as an ogre, unfortunately. Ah, so we can... Yeah, we need to get to Tanathos. Let's actually ask about that. Can any of you send me to Tanathos? Tanathos! You'll not find anyone fool enough to take you on that destination around here. Try Blackroot. That's a place full of desperate fools. Okay, a different place then. Uh, we need to go to Caledon. Buzz it 100 head. Alright, here you go for fourth. Alright, uh, yes, we have not heard. Uh, How may I help you? About Caledon. Got some questions. Then I will do my best to answer. What do you know about Caledon? This is Caledon. The first Panari temple is here. If we seek answers about Nazredin, then that is where we should go. Yeah, that's real nice and all that. I'm thinking Xanaluan was maybe more enlightening. You're saying all kind of stupid stuff already. No, I do. Always treating me like stupid, that elf. So, yes, Virgil, we. I mean, there's no real clue as where to find Virgil, but uh, he is actually in Subbing Onion Inn. So we should go and visit him there. And uh, is he here? No, you don't see him, but there's this trapdoor here. Uh, which will. It's an interesting scene. Oh! Got the pew pew. And there seem to be some. And a naked Virgil. Just as naked as I left him. Oh, yeah, they're going straight into combat. Now, we'll see the glory of Raven and why, uh, despite her being a little bit bland, I have her in the party. You'll see that in a second when it is her turn. Uh... Ooh, they're shooting me. That is not doing much. Okay, yeah, first it's the Dwarfy boys. You see how many attacks she does? She's basically a bow machine gun at this point. 
Shall we go ogre on ogre? Let's do ogre on ogre. I'm the better ogre. There's only one ogre. What an idiot. Also, Logar is kicking solid ass. I do think uh, Zan is shooting a little bit at our dwarves, though. That's racist. So, we unfortunately are too late to save Virgil. Wowie! Because I have actually brought some things in in previous as preparation. Finding out what is happening. There should be healing stuff in here. Ah, here we go. Oh, it's a scroll. We can't use them, but we have beans! Beans should work! Hey, Virgil! Sensubeam! Shit, we cannot use that. Oh, that's a problem. Uh, I thought there was also like... Maybe we need to build a reanimator before we do this. Does Virgil have a reanimator on him? No. Just some old stuff. Any of these crew have maybe something like that? Swords, that's nice. Bullets. No pistol, no. More bullets. And a repeater rifle. That's interesting. But really a means to bring Virgil back from the dead. That is a problem. We could try the scroll ourselves, but I don't think it'll work. I thought, I really thought the beans would work. Senzu bean. I guess it doesn't work when you have a, ho a hole in your esophagus. No, that doesn't work either. Dang it. Okay. Uh, hmm. Alright, I'll have to figure out some... I mean, we can raise him as a zombie. We have that. Save it before we raise Virgil as a zombie. Now that seems like uh, not the best solution to this. Alright, Necromizer, go! Hey, Virgil's here, he's just green now. Yes, Master. I don't think Virgil was like this. Hey, Virgil, you're, you're cursing a lot less. What's up with that? No, that is fun. Let's see if we can do it with other people. Hello, ogre. Yes, you're not my green ogre. <laughs> uh, okay, so we can make like an army of uh, green zombies. I am Dr. Frankenstein. Lovely. But um, I think we want Virgil back not as a zombie. So I am going to look for a means to, you know, properly bring someone back from the dead. So be right back in a bit. Alright, so, uh, yes, I've been trying a lot of things. The problem is, uh, yes, we could possibly get a technological means of uh, bringing Virgil back not as a zombie. You know, bringing people back as a zombie is really cool, we should do it more. But uh, if we uh, leave this place for a long while to go get that means, uh, his body will be taken away and buried and then we cannot do the whole thing anymore. So that presents uh, us with a problem. So what I am going to do, I am going to, uh, we're not going to go straight for getting Virgil, no. We are going to uh, go back in time a little bit when we were in Tarant and first do some other things because, well, and make it eventually we can make our own technological means of bring someone back from the death let's just see here where is it yeah the reanimator we do need like a lot of cure all is tricky to uh, 
to, to, to make, but uh, we can get there. So we are going to do some training so we get this uh, skill up, because right now we uh, do not have the skill for that yet. But we're nearly level up and we can still at least get a few levels. So flashback in time for some other start of an adventure, because we're already on right on time, don't it? Yes. So we are back in the... Uh back in time and back at the uh, ancient temple that we were earlier and remember that when we did the god quest yes there's more to this place than uh, what we previously explored so let us uh, head on in here uh yes hello there friend <laughs> might i speak with you a moment uh, okay jeffrey what's up yes um this place this temple i think i know what it is oh well aren't we then well, we don't talk about it much. Necromancers, I mean. The symbol there, the eagle with the snake's head, that's the symbol of the Darien Car. Oh, yeah, we heard about them. They're nasty bunch. Who were they exactly, even though we heard about them? They were a secret order of dark necromancers, formed during the Age of Legends. The darker arts haven't always been so well received, and so they used to practice their magics in secret. I wasn't aware that they actually had a temple. A bit spooky, if you ask me. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be spooky. There's like undead here and stuff. What else do you know about them, Geoffrey? <laughs> Sorry, but it's not something I talk about frequently. It's kind of an old boy's affair, if you get my meaning. Oh, yes, okay. Fraternity oaths and all that. <laughs> yeah, gay. Okay. Uh, I see. You're as helpful as ever. Always glad to be of service. So yeah, there's this, uh, Jeffrey knows a bit about the Darien car and has some opinions on it. But yeah, we only explore like this side of things towards the altar. There is more to this place, it's bigger. So let us go uh, deal with it because you know, that's also experience points which we need to learn to make like a cool, a cool resurrection potion ourselves because then it would be even better because that would be a truly the epic mad experiments of oh god mad scientists oh they make people's nose bigger and stuff and then they become sexy yeah and uh, raven is like really insanely lethal with that bow i've seen her machine gun like things before i could even reach them so happy with her in the group Though she doesn't know the physical heal scale like Virgil did. Oh, she's going to reposition. I am fine with that. Uh, okay. Should maybe take some combat drugs in here. These are not attacking us directly. Anyways, combat drugs it is. Uh, we'll take some potion of physical prowess. We should take some tonic of enhanced reflexes. Uh, we can take some energizer, definitely. I will save the revitalizer as we don't have that much of it. But yeah, we should be much more uh, fighty. Yeah, that should be better. All right, let's go on further. Are they really not? No, they are going to attack us. They were just uh, waiting. See, we are quite effective fighters as well with drugs. And they have a lot of magic stuff in here. No library key. Yeah, I hope we can get, uh, like, we're really close to leveling up, so hopefully we get, like, a level still in this episode. And then maybe next episode we can... And uh, deal with the final bits of this yeah. temple. Hello. You are a hard to target creature. Let us go. I am awed by go. your abilities. Let the blood flow. I am awed by your cool praise there, Logan. Let the cool voice line flow. Yes, so we are very much going to focus on uh, learning our medicine. So we should still have accelerated healing. Okay, it's that sound again. And uh, yeah, so Cure All is still two points away, so still two levels away, unfortunately. But it's pretty much max level, so. But still, we at least. Uh, 
If we can acquire a cure-all for somewhere else, then we can make those uh, potions earlier. Because 90 uh, skill in herb herbology, we should be able to do that. Let's actually see it. Accelerate heating. The body is an incredible machine with its own internal healing mechanism. Unfortunately, one rarely finds himself the time with the time to let nature do her work. Now, by mixing healing salves and coca leaves, you can uh, give a little bit of a more extra push. See the surprise on your enemy's faces as you laugh what would normally be disembowelment. Right, accelerated healing we can make, and I think we can base some, some interesting potions off that. Let's make some of that stuff. Actually, no, I don't want to spend a fate point. Thank you very much. So let's make a accelerated healing. Two even. And I think that's the basis for more recipes, actually. So miracle cure. That would be a fortifier. And a wonder drug that's still one level away. Okay. We could make the Invigorator if we make some Fatigue Restorer. That last big battle got you feeling low? Wondering how you're gonna make it through to the next death, uh, to the death duel? Well, look no further than the Incomparable Invigorator. By combining Fatigue Restorer and Healing Accelerator, you get a physical boost second to none. That is cool. Let's go, uh, I think we should have enough for that. Uh, how can I help you? Let's see, do we still have, yeah, we still have some coca leaves and some, some tobacco leaves as well. So, yeah, we can make some of that stuff. Experimentation ho! Uh, first we take the, the normal. Fatigue restore. And then we switch it over to learned. And, oh, we don't have the skill for an invigorator. Oh, well, that'll come later then. I didn't drop anything, did I? No, okay. Well, I will be going through this temple, clearing it out. The library seems to have a lot of magic -y dudes. And then we come back, uh, well, we'll uh, see what's in this temple and uh, see how far we will be trained. Till the next episode, bye-bye.